back. So today I have a one brand tutorial. Finally, you guys have been asking for this type of video for so long now. So today's one brand tutorial is going to be on NYX Professional Makeup. I love their brand and their makeup. I've always used their stuff so I thought why not and I kind of was surprised at how much stuff I have from them. So I thought let me just start off with this brand. I did purchase a few bits but also some was sent to me as well so it's a mixture. I will let you guys know. Yeah, I'm really really happy with the results. They've got amazing makeup but I'm gonna stop rambling and we'll jump straight into this video. I really need to get more fabrics like these because they give the best lighting for some reason. Like, anyway so I'm first going to start off with my brows as always. I'm going to be using the NYX Micro Brow Pencil. This is what it looks like and I got the shade Espresso. It's very similar to the Anastasia Brow Wiz but the only thing is that it's a bit drier like the formula is a bit dry and you need to work with it a bit more but it still works nevertheless and when I use it it doesn't come off my brows need work doing like this my hair my face is so hairy right now <laughs> I'm just gonna fill these in this color is a tad bit light so next time I know to get the darker one as long as it looks good you know like I really like that you know sometimes it's I like to go a bit lighter as well I don't mind it because you can still see the brow hairs and it looks fluffier I'm not going to be using any brow gel today because I haven't got any from NYX but I will be grabbing the HD concealer to calm my brows out I don't know if you can tell but this concealer is a tad bit dark for me but it's still a really good concealer I use it mostly um, around my mouth area to cover pigmentation um, and if I do use it under my eyes I usually mix it with another lighter concealer but today I'm just going to be using this under the eyes but also you know like use the powder from NYX to brighten it up okay so I'm just going to put this concealer all over my eye I just always like to put concealer on my lids so that it makes the eyeshadow stand out so for my eyes I've got two eyeshadow palettes I've got the lid lingerie I also have the NYX Full throttle palette. This is the full throttle palette that I purchased myself. I saw it online and I needed to get this one because I love oranges. And um, this was kind of sent to me by NYX, and I'm really desperate to use that as my base and this in my crease. So oh yeah, I'm gonna first use the lid lingerie palette. It looks stunning. It's just all matte colours. I'm gonna grab this colour right here. You always need a matte colour to set your eyes. I'm going to grab this shade right here. It's pretty pigmented to me. And I've also realised there's no fallout at all from this palette. Then from my full throttle palette, I'm going to grab this shade first just to test it out. Yeah, it's kind of like the similar colour to the other one. I realise that there's a bit more fallout with this palette, but I'm not bothered about fallout, you know. I'm then going to go in with this bright reddish burgundy colour. That's what it is, it was a bit bright there. That's so pretty. So they did also send me uh, their pigments. Um, it's so funny. It says this on the back and I was going to say this is the shade Pig. But it's not shade Pig. It's just It stands for pigment. But this is in the shade 06. Um, it's kind of like a coppery colour. I just need to open it. This is also what I like about NYX. All their stuff is like wrapped individually. I mean I know it's not good packaging wise. But you know when I go to a drugstore. I can't buy stuff that I want because they've always been used. Because they're not sealed. So it's nice to see that you know it's sealed and I know no one has like touched it or anything. With this I'm going to grab a flat brush and the NYX Dewy Setting Spray. So I'm first going to grab the pigment on the brush and then I'm just going to spray it like so. And I'm just going to put that on. 
Oh, that's pretty. Zoom you guys in so you can see, but this is so pretty. I feel like it goes so well with the red. I'm just deepening the crease a bit. I'm also going to go back in with the red just to kind of blend that out a bit as well. Isn't that so pretty? I'm also going to take a little brush, the paint is colour from the Lid Lingerie palette and I'm just going to highlight my brow bone and if you put too much you can always go back in with your first colour and just diffuse the two together okay I would say I'm quite happy with that I'm now going to use my NYX eyeliners, I've got the white and the black one so I'm just going to use the black one They're just so easy to use. I love how this eyeliner is so black and you know pigmented. I'm just gonna take my wipe and wipe that off. This makes it look so much neater. I'm also gonna take the white one and just do like a little line. I have all the Vivid Brights, actually I think I have most of them, not all of them. Again, I'm just going to use my wipe just to make it a little cleaner. They also sent me their double stacked mascara that looks like this. So you've got your fibre in here and then the mascara. I'm actually really excited to try this because I've never tried anything like this before. So this is what the first mascara looks like. There's literally just fibres on it. Before anything, I always curl my lashes. The regular mascara has a brush like this. I kind of like it, you know. This is to put a first coat of the mascara. When it falls, it's kind of like cotton wool. And then I'm just going to go back in with the mascara. It definitely makes them look more like, you know, flicked out. That was kind of fun. I actually kind of like that. It does give much more length. I can tell, like, with these ones, they're not as long. And my inner eyelashes aren't that long as well, so it gives length to them. But can you tell how, like, it's all, like, wispy? <coughs> I realise every time I do my lashes I need to sneeze and then I have to like concentrate to not squish my eyes together. So that's the eyes almost done. I'm going to go on to skin now. So I'm first going to use my NYX Orange Corrector. Just goes around my mouth area. Then next for my favourite bit I'm going to use my Total Control Drop Foundation in the shade Caramel. So I like to drop a few drops and then kind of distribute it with my finger first and I take my beauty blender you really don't need too much with this foundation look how it just covers the current character it's gone I'm also going to grab my concealer and just put a bit here under my eyes. Got that stupid painful spot on my cheek. It's like the only thing I can see on my face. 
I'm just using my HD one concealer. Look how flawless it makes. I just wish I had like a lighter color. Now for highlights, I'm going to be using some liquid highlighter. That's why I'm going to do it now. Um, I'm going to be mixing the Away We Glow in number seven and number four. So this is the number seven one. It's kind of like a coppery one. And number four is like a light golden one. That's number seven. Look at that. And that's number four. Number seven is a bit too dark on its own for a highlighter for me, so I'm just going to mix the two. You guys know I love my glow. Blend that out. So this definitely looks like more of like your inner natural glow. If you like more of a beaming highlight, you would definitely need to go in with like a powder highlight. Next, I'm going to be using my well-used um, contour palette. This is the Highlight and Contour Pro Palette. I'm going to first use this yellow shade right here and set my under eyes. This is really like brightening. I'm going to put a bit right for now and then I'm going to brush the rest uh, later on. I'm also going to grab my NYX bronzer. I love this bronzer. This is the matte bronzer in deep with my MAC 135 brush. Just going to bronze my cheeks a bit. What I love about this bronzer is that it's not too red or too orange. It's like the perfect colour. And it blends like a dream. I'm also going to grab this colour right here. This is like my favourite contour colour. Then from the palette I'm going to take this powder highlight here. It's kind of like more of a goldy colour. I'm just going to place that on the top. I'm gonna go back in the full throttle palette. I think this one's in the color riot shade I don't know. I'm confused with the color, but there's only one like this with like orangey colors. Um, I'm gonna first Grab this shade right here This is gonna go underneath. I'm just gonna smoke that out And I'm now gonna grab this shade from the lid lingerie palette and I'm just gonna smoke that as well it's more like a brown. Then finally, I'm going to grab the lighter shade from the Full Throttle palette and just highlight my corner with it. That's pretty. It's a tad bit powdery, but it gives an intense highlight. I'm also going to put some mascara on my lower lashes. I don't really, I really like the brush from the mascara. I have got mascara here and there, like on my skin, but I'll take that off in a bit. Um, now on to, I just feel like I need a bit more bronzer. So for my lips, I'm going to use two lip lingeries. I've already got Teddy in these, but today I'm going to be using two new colours. I'm going to be using Cabaret Show and Silk Indulgent. That's a nice colour. What's wrong with me? I get mascara all over my lid and then I get lipstick on my chin. definitely like a mauvey kind of colour. This is definitely like a light pink, so I'm just going to hit a little bit. I 
I like to use lighter colours because it just makes your lips look so much bigger. And then finally, this I'm so excited for this. I don't really like normally like glossy lips, but when I saw this on my hand, I like kind of fell in love with it. This and I believe it's new as well. This is the NYX Cosmic Metals Lip Cream. This is what it looks like, and this is in the shade 13. It's kind of like I'm gonna do a swatch for you. It's kind of like a pure like pigment gloss. I love that and then finally I'm just going to set my whole face with the NYX Dewy setting spray you really don't need too much of this because this makes your face very dewy so that's the final look guys I can't believe my full face is like NYX and it's all drugstore like it looks really really good and their stuff is amazing that's why I have a ton of stuff from them I don't know I really love it I love the gloss thing like that on top of anything I'm kind of getting into it now I don't know I've reached I've loved every single thing there's not one thing that I thought oh that's just really bad anyways um Anyways, if you want to see more one branch tutorials from me, let me know what brands you'd like me to do. I have LA Girl and Milani on my list. I'm um, also Maybelline, so I'm planning those out. It's kind of difficult because, you know, I need to purchase, like, the extra bits. So just give me time. I will get the stuff. But anyways, thanks so much for watching. Um, I love you guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye!